hello everyone welcome back to this youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to be talking about a particular free intro video maker which is called panzoid panzoid is a powerful tool for creating stunning intros for your youtube videos for your facebook videos for your brands and for your businesses panzoid intro video maker is a free online tool that allows you to create professional looking intros for your youtube videos for your facebook videos for your ordinary videos for brands and other businesses it has a user-friendly interface and a wide range of customization options which you can use to create intros that definitely match your brand right so guys to get started on this platform all you just have to do is come to www.panzoid.com so that's going to bring you directly to this platform right here so when you get to this platform it has three basic apps which are most common for use on this platform you have the clip maker you have the background there and then you have the video editor in order to create the exact type of intro video which you saw at the start of this video I'm going to be using the clip maker. You can use the backgrounder to create some background effect and you can also use the video editor but I have some other apps which are mostly dedicated for these services. So we'll be confining ourselves to using the clip maker. So you can click on the clip maker and the clip maker is going to bring you to an interface that is similar to this. Now this interface is divided into three basic parts. You have the timeline. The timeline is where you do most of your editing or your effects. This is where you preview your effects. This is where you do most of your effects then on the left side of the timeline you have the template section now on this template section is where you see all of the templates of the intros that you want to use you can choose from anyone you have the pre-made templates in all of these places so you can choose from them and then at the far left hand side just close to the template section you have this customization parts which you use to customize everything that you're going to be doing on the timeline so I have a particular template which I'm going to customize today. So I'm going to be using the Drifter, this Drifter template. So once you have a template that you want to customize, you just right click on it and then you open the template in a new tab. So this is going to bring you to an interface exactly like this. So by the time you load your template, which you want to edit, the first thing you need to do is to play around it. So initially, this is what the template looks like. So in order to start editing, the first thing you need to do is to render the preview a 2d interface you remove it from a 3d interface to a 2d interface so it is now going to look like this so this is what we have right now so you come to this left hand side and then let me quickly familiarize ourselves with the basic settings on this site here we have the project folder here you can load a new project we can start a new project you can load a project you can save a project or you can upload another project to your creation you have all of these buttons that are lined up right here so next up, we have the basic settings. One of the basic test settings, you can choose the video resolution. Either you want the video in 4K, you want it in 2K, you want it in 1080p, you want it 720p, downwards like that. So you can choose any of them. You can choose the frame rate as well as the length of the video which you are creating. Also, next up, you have the scenes. You can decide to choose the scenes like that or add out of the blocks and everything that you want. And then you can choose the type of lightning which is going to be present on your scenes. Now, next up is the objects. Here you can have the objects. This is specifically where you have the ability to add your text or to change any part of your text. So next up, we have the effects. You can choose the effects and every other camera settings. You can change your camera settings right here, your camera resolutions. You can also change your audio and your music by adding or changing the music, which is attached to your intro video. If you have a custom video, you can actually attach it at this point. Then we have the download button. So let me take you to this object slide now at this point the text which is on the outline here we have the drift tab it's going to appear in the text section here so once you click on it it's going to bring all of the customization options that's available just below right here so at this point you can change the text of the intro video you can change the text here and do some further customization by customizing the fonts you can change the font size you can change either the font height and the thickness then you can set the bevel and the bevel side especially if you're a professional by the time you play around with it then you will definitely understand every other thing but at this level right now i'm just going to change my name and i'm going to use my channel name so once that is done you can play it to see your change effected also so my change has been effected already and i'm going to play it so you can see all right once i pause it back you see that when i played it the lettering of the word on the video is bigger than my screen since the length of my name is actually bigger okay so once you see it you can see that the wordings are extremely big and they are out of the shape of the screen so i'm going to reduce the font size so you come to this size you can change the font if you so desire you can either change the font you can use the custom font 
if you have a custom font which you want to use as well as you can now change the size so i'm going to change the height of my wording so let me put something like nine okay so if i put something like nine all right so i'm going to have something like this so when i play it all right one of the properties of an intro video is the fact that it must not be too long this particular intro video is just eight seconds and you shouldn't be having intro videos that is as long as 15 30 seconds your viewers are going to click off your video and it must have the brand of your channel sometimes you have the ability to add your logos likewise but i'm not going to be adding any logo to this video so if i'm okay with the music track that's attached to it if i'm also okay with the lightning and other effect i'll just come to this download button this is the download button right here so at the download button it shows me the mode of the download i'm going to be using the balanced mode or if you want to use the extreme quality that might take a little bit of time the format is in .mkb then i'm going to click start video render so once i click the start video render it's going to start rendering my video and preparing it for download all right so rendering of the video is finished and i can from this point download my video but as you can see the possibilities are endless with the panzoid intro video maker you can choose from a variety of templates you can add your own text and images and even customize the colors and the effects to make your intros truly amazing now one of the best things about the panzoid intro maker is that it's completely free to use you don't need to download any software or pay for any subscription you don't even need to sign up on this platform all you need is an internet connection and a web browser and you're good to go so i'm going to download my finished video right here it says thank you for using panzoid your download is started so my video is already downloaded right here so i'm going to click on the downloaded video so that we can see it all right so here is my downloaded video you can use it in any form either at the start or at any point in your videos or you can create it for your brands and other businesses so if you're looking to create a professional looking intro for your youtube videos i highly recommend giving panzoid intro video maker a tryout it's very easy to use and it's free and it can help you take your video creation or video editing to the next level thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this i'll see you in the next one